you want to watch the time Gordon Ramsay destroyed the vegan teacher, let's watch this. The back and forth between Gordon Ramsay and the vegan teacher was one of the funniest beefs in internet history, and it all began. Wait, the what? They Egypt. were beefing? What the fuck? <laughs> Why the fuck was Gordon Ramsay people with this bitch? And the vegan teacher was one of the funniest beefs in internet history, and it all began on the 20th of January 2021. Firstly, we need to set the stage for the two contenders within this conflict. In the red corner, there was Gordon Ramsay, who not only holds the title of the world's most famous chef, mm -hmm. but also ranks in third place amongst the world's richest chefs Dang. with a net worth of $220 million. His restaurants boast a total of 16 Michelin stars and are so iconic that in 2006, the Queen of of England awarded Gordon Ramsay the highest excellence order of the Whoa. British Empire for the positive impact he had made on the country's hospitality industry. His blunt confrontational branding is incredibly distinguished and recognizable, yet Gordon also has the ability to keep the content lighthearted and comedic whenever necessary. He's he's awesome, bro. I think Gordon Ramsay, I enjoy Gordon Ramsay because like he's a dickhead, but have you seen him like interact with like, like, I don't know, like moms or like kids, like he's so sweet to them. And then he'll go to like a shitty chef and be like, you're an idiot sandwich. And then go back to him and be like, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't cry. The souffle is perfect. You know what I mean? It's fine. He's so nice. Which works. I fuck with it. I, I like to say I'm like a Gordon Ramsay for real. I'm, I'm, I'm like a Gordon Ramsay excellently on his TikTok page with over 33 million followers. The TikTok page rarely promotes anything serious, with his videos usually doing nothing more than laughing at the cooking done by other TikTokers. What are you doing flowering a filet mignon? Ew. 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 Oh, no. You're not covering a filet mignon with fruity pebbles. No. That's right. no. No, no, no. Come on, dude. I'm going to kick your butt. Take it out. Take it yeah, out? Yeah, yeah throw it in the trash. No. Pebble, Look at it. It's Ew. Perfect medium Perfect medium rare. Perfect medium rare. Don't Specs Ew. Ah, what the f*** is going on here? Did he just put, what is that, mayonnaise or red? What the fuck did he just put on his steak? And look at Gordon's face. As a whole, Gordon Ramsay is up there amongst the most respected celebrities of all time, whilst our other contender in the blue corner, Ugh. that vegan teacher, is down there amongst the least respected celebrities of all time. Is she still a thing? I haven't seen her. Like, honestly, I never really got exposed to her content. Chat told me about her probably like a few, like maybe a year ago, but I never really seen her on my For You page or anything. I don't think so. No, I hope not. Is she dead? I don't know. She's dead. She She's, she died? This old died? No. No. She's dead? Probably from not getting enough meat. No. No. Fly high. No, she is alive. Oh, she's alive? She got banned. Aha. Aha. She got banned. Aha time. She started her social media journey back in early 2020, and as mentioned in the previous video discussing Mr. Beast, her goal is to mischaracterize the most beloved influencers by framing them in any way possible as terrible anti-vegans who are trying to destroy the world by eating meat. What? You're just so happy that Mr. Beast bought a, a whole store full of food and donated it to the poor, right? What did that include? Innocent chickens who were murdered. The whole thing is... <laughs> No way. She's trying to spin Mr. Beast in a bad way. Man, fuck them chickens. I mean, if no one gonna say, I'm gonna say, fuck them little chickadees. I'll eat them little motherfuckers alive, bro. I have sushi chicken nuggets for breakfast, bitch. Fuck out of here. What is this? What is this bitch talking about? Fuck out of here wrong nothing that he did in that equation was good her achievements include being banned from tiktok numerous times having an average channel dislike ratio of well over 50 as well as owning the largest vegan documentary dvd collection in the northern hemisphere almost all of her growth has come from commentary channels talking about how terrible her takes are on topics relating to food vegan teacher i think you have this problem of just not really realizing that nobody is going to ever like really care about your message that you're trying to deliver and from the get-go it's obvious that the vegan teacher had absolutely no authority authority in comparison to Gordon Ramsay. However, with Gordon being one of the most distinguished chefs in the entire world and the vegan teacher always looking for someone to call out, she began the conflict on TikTok with a video explaining to Gordon Ramsay that animals weren't food from her perspective. So Gordon, one of the problems that I noticed that you have is you don't seem to understand the difference between food and animals. Food is something that you get out of the ground or you take it from a tree. And Food is something you eat, stupid bitch, and I'm eating some goddamn chickadees. I'm eating fucked up. And it's something that's very healthy for us to eat. Animals are alive. Chickens. This is such a, can I just say this is such a first world? Like, if it's not health related, bro, right? If you're a vegan for health related issues, maybe you're allergic to shit, whatever. The fuck. Okay, cool. Or it's like a moral thing, sure, whatever the fuck. But I just want to say it's such a first world fucking problem, dude. Like, if you were in a fucking, like us, if you were starving in a country that didn't fucking offer supermarkets and all that shit, bro, you 
had to go scavenge for some shit, you would eat a goddamn chicken, bro. Off, off, rip. You gonna rip that motherfucker's little feathers off and eat that little bitch. Maybe if she got some meat, she wouldn't be so damn bored. <laughs> Plants are alive too, bitch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And cows, sheep, these things are not actually foods. Now to give the vegan teacher credit where credit is due, her argument here wasn't all that terrible. She presented it in a persuasive, logical, non-forceful way, using points that could be understood by anybody. The idea that if there's food on the trees and in the ground, then maybe it's best not to eat animals is a pretty appealing idea when you take it as a basic surface level argument. However, from this point onwards, it will become apparent that this uh -oh. was pretty much the only appealing logical argument she'd make, as her disdain for Gordon Ramsay seemed to grow and her attacks became increasingly dumber and dumber. This can be observed in the next video she'd upload oh, on him, no. being a 27 minute long video, which began by describing Gordon Ramsay as the following. Today we're going to talk about the devil. The devil's name is Gordon Ramsay. A devil is defined as a creature that does nothing but harm in the world. What? The vegan teacher's justification for Gordon Ramsay being the devil was that he was paying to make himself look good on camera. What? When you have a lot of money, you can pay people to film you in whatever light that you want and make your life maybe you should do that because bitch you look disgusting i'm sorry to say it i'm i'm hiding behind a model right now buddy and i still like i have what do i have on i have a, a small ass adidas shirt some nike pants and i still look better than this little crusty decrepit bitch bro she looks like frankenstein bro she looks disgusting she needs some sun and some fucking some vitamins from some meat Right. Seemed like one giant trip to Disneyland. Yet apparently Gordon wasn't only the- Continue. As he was not able to empathize with the meat he was cooking. He's a kind of psychopath who really cannot see into the eyes of an animal and see them as sentient beings. Maybe he truly is disconnected. The stupidity of the video was oh, instantly God. reflected in the comments with the top three being Stan Gordon Ramsay, the king, the legend, the god. Gordon, don't listen to her. I love Gordon Ramsay's savage remarks and his food. As uh -oh. well as Gordon Ramsay is the best person ever since jesus christ himself. bro they're actually so nice i would have been like i'll bathe in chicken blood i pour it on me before i go to sleep like just to fuck with the bitch Self. However, despite the backlash and support for Gordon, under the assumption that he would never respond, the vegan teacher doubled down on the criticism by uploading another video stating that Gordon Ramsay was a terrible father because he did the TikTok what? egg challenge with his daughter. Why is Gordon Ramsay such a terrible father? Why does he teach his children speciesism, which is the purest form Species? of racism? Which was accompanied by a... Ooh, what? What? Bitch, what? track titled why are you a vegan phobic animal bully however while this diss track failed to grab the celebrity chef's attention it would be with one song on tiktok shortly thereafter that the vegan teacher would finally be noticed by gordon ramsay eating animals is wrong gordon ramsay hurting animals is wrong gordon ramsay share this song <laughs> and if you call me a donut it's fine vegan what donut the video captioned Ben hey, he's a burger. <laughs> making this TikTok showed Gordon Ramsay eating lettuce as if he was trying to appease the vegan teacher before spitting it out, calling her a vegan donut and taking a bite out of a juicy beef burger. <laughs> as the comments began to roll in, it was obvious that people loved Gordon's hilarious response. My respect for Gordon Ramsay. Nice to meet you, you vegan donut. We've been waiting for this. Whilst countless news articles were written about the event in favor of Gordon. The video response would go on to gain over 60 million views, which was more than the vegan teacher's total YouTube. Damn viewership combined damn ratio that bitch like great yo if i ever get ratio like this i'm deleting every account ever bro i promise however this was still only the beginning of the conflict one thing that you have to respect the vegan teacher for is that her tolerance to criticism is on a whole different level most creators pretend that they don't care about criticism but the vegan teacher seems to be one of the very few who legitimately couldn't care less about what people have to say about her i i she's so far removed from fucking reality that's why this bitch is delusional <laughs> Any crazy motherfucker is gonna be like, I don't care, like that bitch. Their mind is on a whole different track, buddy. What the fuck, bugo? Despite being roasted by the entire world for a song about Gordon Ramsay, she'd brush it off as if it were nothing and upload another song as a response. When that W got streamer comes in chat. Uh, 
in which he'd claim that sorry i don't know what that was as if it were nothing and upload another song as a response in which he'd claim that gordon ramsay's tiktok was <laughs> laughing at the trillions that had died and that he was bullying the most innocent of animals just for fame in addition to this the vegan teacher would criticize gordon's level of maturity his response was to eat an animal in front of me yeah. does that sound like the response of somebody who's in their 50s a mature person before going on to compare his tiktok response how old is how old is the vegan teacher and is that a wig like i have questions that need to be answered did, did someone buy those glasses for her or did she pick them out herself what's going on like a hundred like 60 like 70 why the fuck is she on the internet too old that bitch look like a raisin like her skin is leather <laughs> she's just rough as shit she brushed she brushed past me bitch she gonna catch me on fire <laughs> my old shirt going up in flames this bitch gonna call sparks <laughs> too fucking old for sure Sounds as similar to world war ii think back to world war ii and what, what? happened there this man thinks it's okay for that to continue oh, to God. sentient beings which was concluded by the vegan teacher uploading another video in which you'd have a mental breakdown over the response. And you just said it was okay to keep oh. doing it! The vegan teacher snapping back at Gordon Ramsay gave enough substance for the commentary community to make their own videos on the drama, with uploads from Pancho, Jaden, and Bray all gaining pretty substantial view counts. The amount of exposure the beef was providing to Gordon Ramsay was observed in a forum post reading, I think it's clever marketing. He made the obvious choice, siding mm -hmm. against her. Short, easy to make a video employing a famous catchphrase of his, guaranteed to blow up and receive massive support. Now all of us, including me, are talking about the guy mostly in a positive light. He's built on his reputation of being rude, funny, honest, and relevant without generating too much personal controversy. He handled the He's matter the goat, bro. well. While Gordon Ramsay was without a doubt the clear favorite within the conflict, it's not like the vegan teacher wasn't getting any benefit from it. In the month that Gordon responded via TikTok, the vegan teacher's YouTube viewership would increase from less than 200,000 views per month to well over 2.5 million views per month. He made this bitch! And with the vegan teacher observing how much traffic this first response provided, she began to fish for another by uploading more videos critical of Gordon Ramsay. She'd claim that Gordon Ramsay should be in jail what while sporting some fresh new Gordon Ramsay is an animal abuser merch, <laughs> which was followed by another video in which the vegan teacher would try and make Gordon lose one of his sponsors. Hello, Silk Milk. Apparently you're paying money to Gordon Ramsay to promote your product. How crazy is that? Oh my God. God, W, W got for real, W Riz, W snitch on God for real, no cap, no kizzy on God, low key, can't believe, facts, no printer, dude, on everything I love, this bitch is doing the most, a little fuss, she got a gizzard, she got that, you know, you know why I think, you know why I think she's so against animal cruelty, because she kind of look like a chicken, like a rooster, with her little dangly thing on her neck. You know what I mean? You feel me? Doesn't feed her dog meat, only kale lots, some shit. Kenji, she doesn't, what? She only feeds her dog kale? That dog is dying. That dog is actually dying. Is the dog alive? That bitch is dead. Get the dog out of there, bro. I would rather be abandoned on the streets with fucking fleas eating scraps than just living with this bitch eating kale. <laughs> Kenji, she got caught eating meat. She did? Oh, W got, W got, for real, for real. Product? How crazy is that? Don't be doing that. He doesn't care about your milk. He's not even vegan. Why would you want him to promote this wonderful product that I drink myself every day? She kind of got so some titties on her, bro. Like respectfully, I might fuck this old lady if she down. Him to promote. She kind of got. She got a little something there. It's grippable for Kenji. What? Huh? If she down the fuck, I am too. Is what I'm saying. I wonder. Oh, she probably don't. She's like using vegan soap and shit. Her pH balance probably fucked up. Never mind this wonderful product that I drink myself every day. Now I'm sure Gordon Ramsay could have yet again annihilated the vegan teacher by mocking her outlook on life in another TikTok, yet his next response was actually a little more elegant and wholesome. Uh -oh. As a result of his first response to the vegan teacher, countless farmers created their own TikToks, thanking Gordon Ramsay for sticking up for the meat industry, stating that people similar to the vegan teacher had interrupted their daily life and even sent them death threats as a result of Jeez. being farmers. Gordon would take a bunch of these clips before compiling and uploading them as a compilation video with a caption reading, always standing behind farmers, grateful for the work they do and passion they have on a daily basis. Hashtag every chef needs a farmer. This video would once again go viral amassing 30 million views with almost every single comment stating something positive, yet this only seemed to give the vegan teacher another opportunity to respond. She'd upload a new video oh, titled no. Gordon Ramsay Stop Encouraging People to Steal in which she addressed the second response. In this video that 19.5 million people saw, 
These are some farmers who are saying thank you to Gordon Ramsay. The gentleman at the beginning, he is saying thank you to Gordon Ramsay because he's saying, you know, we really appreciate that you are giving us the green light to keep hurting these innocent cows. Before stating that she'd fuck them cow yo chat of the farm. Fuck them cows, bro. Fuck them cows. Go out in a fucking desert, bro, and just starve, bitch. Just go starve and then see see how hungry you will be, bitch. I'm gonna put a cow in front of you. I guarantee you, you're gonna bite that motherfucker's hoof. I'm gonna cook a nice fucking steak in front of your bitch ass. See, you don't want, your mouth ain't drooling like you don't want something to eat. Fuck out of here. What? I, I'm, are you gonna be like, I just want the time. I just want the time on top of the steak. I don't need the steak. I'm vegan. Like, fuck you, bitch. You're eating. Like, bitch. Bitch out my face. Farmers individually. I took two okay. of these farmers and I made videos d dedicated towards them. I didn't have time yet to do all of them. At this point, Gordon Ramsay likely realized that giving the vegan teacher any extra attention was a lost cause as there will be no more responses from his end. Damn. Yet the damage had already been done. It was stated by the vegan teacher in a YouTube video that her only goal was to get the- Kenji, according to Google, the dog died because it was drowned. Rip dog. Oh no. I didn't have enough fucking strength to swim. How the fuck did he even find that? What? world's attention on tiktok i do whatever i can to get the world's attention you gotta do a song and a dance and be crazy and do whatever it takes to get people's attention and then when the attention is there then you maybe have the chance to get them a little tiny damn bit anyways thanks for the dollar <laughs> demi damn r.i.p puppy i guess whatever thanks for the dollar dude that would be a crazy response, bro. That's so foul. Oh, the dog, the puppy died? Oh, fuck. I guess whatever. Okay, later. Dog drowned? Shit. Should have bought a snorkel. A song. <laughs> Bitch didn't have floaties? My fault. Okay, I was serious. Uh, song and a dance and be crazy and do whatever it takes to get people's attention. And then when the attention is there, then you maybe have the chance to get them a little tiny bit interested in what you're saying of that sub substance. And this is exactly what she managed to do. The vegan teacher achieved a certain level of notoriety and became widely talked about largely due to a video mentioning mm. Ramsey. Gordon got 90 million views out of it. The vegan teacher got an online career out of it. So maybe it was simply a win-win for both individuals. Mm. Damn, whatever. A fucking meat eater made her. All right, W Gordon Ramsey, W got L Riz on vegan teacher L, L, L plus ratio.